Kate Winslet, Matthias Schonartz, and Hugh Grant. When we see these three names together in a cast, our interest is immediately raised to 100%, and hopefully yours too. Find out all about the HBO series The Regime. The series is a political satire and a gripping drama, a darkly comic journey through the crumbling world of a modern European dictatorship. The series was created by Will Tracy and is directed by Stephen Fears and Jessica Hobbs. That the cast is phenomenal, you already figured that out with names like Winslet, Schonarts, and Grant. The big question whether the series is a laugh out loud or a depressing reminder of the dangers of uncontrolled power we are going to try to answer in this review. So keep watching until the end to join us in finding the answer. The regime takes us into the opulent but suffocating palace of an unnamed Central European country. Here we meet Elena Vernum, Kate Winslet, the country's iron-fisted chancellor, desperately clinging to power. Elena is a complex and fascinating character. Winslet portrays her with an engaging blend of ruthlessness, vulnerability, and a touch of madness. We see her navigating the treacherous political landscape, dealing with an ambitious advisor, Zubak, Matthias Schonartz, and a world-weary foreign minister, Guillaume Gallien. The series is a masterpiece in political satire. It uses humor to expose the insanity of authoritarian regimes while highlighting the very real consequences of their actions. The writers cleverly use dark humor to expose the hypocrisy and corruption underlying Elena's regime. They do not shy away from showing the brutal reality of repression, but they do so with a satirical humor that keeps the story from becoming too depressing. While the series is certainly funny, it also offers an in-depth commentary on the nature of power. We see how absolute power affects not only Elena, but also those around her. The constant struggle for control within the palace walls creates a toxic atmosphere of paranoia and betrayal. The regime is not only about the inner workings of a dictatorship, it is also a story about family dynamics. Elena's relationship with her problematic son Alexei is a central theme of the series. We see how her relentless ambition takes its toll on their relationship, leaving Alexei feeling alienated and misunderstood. This family drama adds a layer of emotional complexity to the series, making it more than just a political satire. The cast in the regime is equally impressive. Matthias Schonertz delivers a chilling performance as Zubak, a man whose ambition knows no bounds. Guillaume Gallien is engaging as the blunted and disillusioned foreign minister. Each character contributes in their own way to the exploration of power, loyalty, and the human cost of an authoritarian regime. The visual style of the regime is striking. The luxuriant palace setting serves as a constant reminder of the wealth and privileges of those in power, but also emphasizes the sense of isolation and paranoia that pervades their lives. The camera work is precise and often keeps the audience at a distance, reflecting the gap between the ruling class and the people they lead. Hope you found the review a little helpful. Let's go back to the question, is the regime a good show to watch? Yes, absolutely. Definitely for fans of political satire and dark dramas. We recommend this series even for those who are not so familiar with the genre. You know the great advantage of streaming allows us to stop the series at any time and look for another title. If you have seen the series, please let us know what your thoughts are. Of course, other comments are also allowed. From Cinetech, we wish you lots of fun watching and see you soon in another video.